Hey Freedom Fighters, how's it going? This is Kala here at Students for a Free Tibet International Headquarters bringing you SFT TV. SFT TV is your source for news, information, and updates uh, from SFT HQ here in New York City. Log on, tune in, and rise up with us here at SFT TV. Um, so let's bring you some news. Uh, first thing, it's a, um, a little blurb from Radio Taiwan International. Um, and the headline is, President Calls Attention to China's Oppression. President Chen Shui Bian says China, uh, tai, uh, Taiwan and Tibet are facing human rights oppression from China. President Chen made the remarks on Tuesday in Taipei while receiving foreign guests at the International Symposium on Tibetan Human Rights. Um, and this is another article from AFP. Terrorism Biggest Threat to Beijing Olympics. Let's see. Terrorism poses the biggest threat to the success of next year's Beijing Olympics, China's police chief said in, a com in comments published Tuesday. Um, and what's really, really interesting is um, a certain organization was uh, mentioned in this. Um, and let's see, it says here. Some organizations and individuals have tried to politicize the Olympics and intervene in China's international affairs. And some others are planning to disrupt the t Olympic torch relay. Who would that be? The paper paraphrased Liu as saying, Police in China last month deported eight foreign Tibet independence activists after they came to Beijing during the one-year Olympic countdown celebrations to protest against China's rule over the territory. That's really interesting. So they are lumping a group of people that care about human rights into a big amalgamous group of um, terrorists. China's really freaking scared. Um, and uh, there's a saying that the more repressive a regime is, um, and it is equal to how scared they are of the people and of um, the regime falling apart. So um, the Chinese communist regime is about to fall. I mean, it looks like it's imploding. They're just like shit scared, straight up. Okay, next. Um, let's see. Actually, I wanted to do a little highlight. We got a little um, email from someone uh, on our YouTube video. Uh, Bao Giel 22, that's B A U I G E L 22. Subject is Why are you so misguided? Uh, I'm saying this word by word. I have not talked to any fascist Tibetan in exile, just like I have not talked to German fascists in exile. I have with the t real Tibetan people, who even refer to themselves as being part of China, who even to my surprise spoke Chinese in a rural, unwatched place. That's why I have made this video in the first place, because you and your pathetic movement is not desired by the Tibetan people. I doubt if you have been in Tibet, probably born and raised in America. Okay, first of all, I'm Filipino. I was born in the Philippines. I was raised in the States. But you know what? I do know what's going on. So um, let's go to another little tidbit of this um, funky little letter. Um, Oh, this is great. Because they don't want you or the CIA hmm, stay in America and live off of Hollywood and the American taxpayer dollars. You Tibetan elite in exile, more autonomy must come with truth and with self-determination of the former slaves and serfs, but never from some fascist elitist who thrive on hierarchy, ignorance, and disinformation like parasites. Anyways, you are American. Why would former Tibetan slave want a Tibetan American elite to rule over them? Okay, it makes no sense whatsoever. He's just spouting the same garbage that the Chinese government tries to um, uh, inundate uh, somewhat educated people with. So um, I'll try to post this somewhere. It's just so funny what people think. Um, this actually came from a response to uh, my response on a couple videos that this person did. One was um, the Dalai Lama equals CIA and um, a bunch of other really totally ignorant um, little posts. But anyways, 
So uh, we welcome everyone's comments. Actually, haters are even the best because they're fun to make fun of. Hey, hey, haters, haters. Um, so, and we love it when people send in love too. So, um, yeah. And last but not least, definitely please check out, I know you probably already have, um, Beijing Wide Open. That's our very own London Laws blog. That's BeijingWideOpen.org. Um, Beijing Wide Open is all one word. And um, today she does a uh, interview with um, acclaimed Tibetan writer, activist, and thinker, Jamyong Norbula. Uh, definitely check it out on BeijingWideOpen.org. And thank you so much for watching SFT TV. Send us your comments, and send us your love, send us your hate. But um, definitely just stay tuned. Okie dokie. Peace and mumble grease. Oh.